Hey, what's up guys? So, I previously shot this video a couple days ago, but when I was going to edit it today, I uh, actually was looking through my computer and realized that I had erased everything on my card and I lost it all, so I have to refilm it. But this video is simply gonna be um, basically the life of a young entrepreneur. So if you guys didn't know, I actually have my own clothing brand called Paper Waves. Um, I just started it a couple months ago and we're still in a startup phase, but I am looking to grow it and hopefully have it be successful to a certain extent someday. So that being said, I think I have a little bit of knowledge that I can give you guys as to what the life of a young entrepreneur is like, as well as why people should look at them differently. So my experience as a young entrepreneur so far um, has been pretty iffy. Um, first starting Paperwaves, I've gotten a lot of hate. A lot of people hate on it, a lot of people call it gay, call it stupid, call it it's never going to be successful, a lot of stuff like that. And it's all to be expected. Um, I, that's all I've heard all my life pretty much, just nothing's ever going to work and that you're stupid or you're gay or whatever. Um, I'm constantly hearing that from everybody um, and I've learned just to tune it out. But um, one thing that I've been getting lately that people don't understand is that um, people don't understand the work that goes into this type of stuff. Um, and to kind of show you guys what really is the process that a lot of people don't understand um, is this. So this is just for my brand alone. This excludes Instagram videos, YouTube videos, doing flips and trying to get better at those. Those are all in a daily struggle as well and that's completely out of the picture for right now. Right now I'm just going to talk about what I do for paper waves, that's all the work that I do. So starting off the brand, you need an idea. You need a business model. To have any type of success, you need a business model. So you need to brainstorm for that. Then you need to work on designs because no one wants to buy your stuff if it looks stupid. So you need to work on designs. I think I've done a decent job at creating designs so far, but, um, not everything's perfect and it will grow with the company. See, I design in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, and it takes time. Drawing all these little pieces of artwork, shape building them, putting them on a printer, getting them printed out into a screen, screen printing the shirts, that all takes roughly like a total of probably 20 hours to do all that. Just like, it'll probably take like two straight weeks of school just to do that. Then from there, once you have that, once you have your first model, you just, you just have one t-shirt with one design that you can't change or you have to go through the whole process again. Once you do that, then you have to see if people like it. So you sell it. And if people have a good response, then you got lucky. And you go back and you make more t-shirts, which you have to buy. And if you don't sell them, you're not going to get your money back, which is bad. So it's a lot of work, and that's just to get one design out. That excludes creating a website, creating an Instagram page, designing things for the page, not just for the company itself, and taking pictures for the company to show up your products. All of that takes even more time. I'm currently working on a website for my stuff right now, especially since I've just gotten my new samples in for t-shirts. So Paper Waves will have a new website and new design and new shirts very, very, very soon. I'm also getting hats very soon, so uh, Paper Waves is on its way up. So that's Paper Waves, okay? And that's something that I literally just do for fun. Paper Waves, I don't consider a job. I don't consider it anything yet. I say yet because I hope someday that that is my career, is creating clothing. But for right now, it's just a startup project for fun that I want people to enjoy, that I want people to understand and be like, that's cool. I've already had people come up to me in malls, people come up to me when I'm out on the street, when I'm at school, who, people who don't know me. I've had people come up to me and say, where'd you get that shirt? That school shirt. Whoa. What brand is that? And like, hearing that is like probably the best thing. Because I don't get complimented on my, like, I don't get complimented on my normal shirts that are like a 
Hollister shirt or say it was like a Vans shirt or something. I don't get really complimented on those things, but when I wear my own brand and I hear that many comments on my own brand, it's, it's, it's encouraging to say the least. So we've gotten through paper waves, my initial entrepreneur startup. Now we have to talk about everything else. So in a day-to-day -day basis, I make one to two Instagram videos, I post three YouTube videos a week, and I do flips for roughly two hours a day. What does that boil down to? The Instagram videos take roughly an hour a day, which isn't a lot. The Instagram videos are probably the easiest part of my day. Then it comes to YouTube. YouTube is probably one of the harder things in my life because I work really hard on them and they probably get the least recognition. For Instagram, I have, I have almost 2,000 followers. If you guys want to follow me, I'm trying to hit 2K right now. But of all the things I do, YouTube is probably the least time effective thing that I do, but it's also one of the most things I love. I love making these videos, but they take like six hours to make. And lastly is flips. And flips I do like two hours a day, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but you get sore, you get hurt, you get, you, you're falling on the ground for half the time, and it's just, it's a lot of work. So if you put that all together, let's say I have two hours of flips a day, 18 hours of YouTube a week, which averages out to two hours a day, and an hour of Instagram, right? That's five hours of work every day just for those things. Then when we take count back into paper waves, paper waves I spend two periods a day, which is roughly two hours. It's a little bit less, it's about one hour and 45 minutes, but we'll cover the difference because it probably averages out to about two. Um, that's a total of seven hours of work a day. And a lot of it is fun. But that's part of my life. I never want to work somewhere that I don't love. I don't want to do a job that I don't love. But I do work. I work hard. Every single day I'm doing those things. I'm making this video right now because I deleted the one from a week ago that I pre-filmed for today. So I have to film this, edit this, and post it to get 45 views and uh, three likes. So it's a lot of work, and I really wish people just understood that, and to those people who do understand it, I wish they would appreciate it, because a lot of people don't even appreciate the hustle anymore. Um, nowadays, I guess kids are just given things, and so they don't understand that people actually have to work for things. Um, those kids who their dads are giving them Lamborghinis for their 16th birthday, your dad worked hard for that. Um, you didn't, but your dad did, and so you should respect him, and you should respect other people like him who are trying to succeed. And to those who don't understand or appreciate the hard work, you should, because I work every day, seven hours a day, what is that, 49 hours a week, and I do that for free. I do that for no money, I do it because I want to succeed. It's hard work and it's adding up and all these hours someday may pour into something that is more than just a hobby. For right now, it's all for fun and I love doing what I do, but it's not sustainable if I'm doing it for free, which is why I hope that one of these things turns out to me in my career, then that'd be the goal. That's the goal. That is the life goal, is to make one of these my job. So. I'm going to keep grinding, and when you see another entrepreneur around, um, please give them some respect, especially if they work as hard as I do, because um, they, re they, they deserve it, you know? Anybody who works, grinds, and sells stuff, who isn't just handed things, but actually works for what they have, um, they deserve respect. So, um, yeah. For me and all the other entrepreneurs out there, uh, Give us some respect because we work hard for what we do and uh, it's not easy. Um, just try it. But yeah, that's basically it. That's the video. Um, I'm sorry my chair is so squeaky. But yeah, that's basically it. And as always, see y'all later. Bye.